What's up everyone? Lost Ark is having an update today and I know a lot of you are probably aware of you know a lot of the feedback from the community about Lost Ark and the difficulty in the game. And this update is basically the developers addressing that. So let me briefly go over the reasonings here for why they're rolling out this update. Um, there is a lot that they're having to say here, but I'm going to skim through the basically important parts. So right here it says, in other regions, players had to stay in Tier 1 and Tier 2 for a considerable duration, as Tier 3 had not been released. With the amount of time spent in these stages of the game, players had a long time to study the patterns and mechanics of the Guardians and Demons they encounter, leaving only a few monsters that ended up posing as challenging hurdles for them. Which is very, very true, you know? I think, you know, all these NA players, we all just jumped in there with T1, 2, and 3, and we're like, man, we see the in-game content, and that's where we want to be, but I don't think we took the time to understand what was actually in front of us. You know, T1, T2, we didn't want to look at that, we wanted to go straight to Tier 3, and that's pretty much what they're trying to address here and make some changes to. They go on to say here that this balance update isn't about simply adjusting the difficulty as a whole. Rather, the focus is to improve some of the difficult patterns to better prepare players as they progress through each tier and work their way towards tier 3 in-game content. So that's basically what this update is about. I wasn't going to read all of this because, you know, that's basically the general concept of it. Uh, so let's go straight into these changes here. So Abyssal Dungeons. Ancient Ovaria. I'm not sure if I've done this one yet. Um, I really don't look at the names, but Necromancer's Origin. Improve player forgiveness during the orb phase when trying to defeat Sigma during stage 2 of Necromancer's Origin. Improve the visual effect with Sigma's color wave to make it more clear to players. See, basically what they're doing is they're trying to get, you know, the new players to really understand the game. It's kind of sad they have to dumb it down, I guess you could say, um, but Honestly, it kind of makes sense. It's really new to us. You know, we haven't spent a long time in this game and I think there's just so much hype around rushing right now. It's like a race to get to tier three. So they're trying to make sure that you can get there comfortably without feeling like you're roadblocked, you know? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through all these changes here. I'll go ahead and put timestamps in the description also so you can go and see which Abyssal Dungeon or Guardian Raid or whatever the content is that's being changed so you can get there very quickly. So go ahead and look at the description for that. Phantom Palace. Hall of Twisted Warlord made a change to the Phantom Legion King attack pattern and Phantom Cut debuff stack. This is applied to the character. Updated the Phantom Legion King Illusion Sword summon attack pattern. As the patterns follow the players, if a player receives two stacks, they will incur damage, and upon reaching three stacks, they will die. Hiddlebrandt Palace decreased the amount of damage required for the staggered phase when. Euphernia appears in stage 3 of Hildebrandt Palace. Increase the phantom energy effect range from the Meteor Whoa stage 3. Change the attack shape of the second WOW from a circle to a front attack during stage 3. Gate of Paradise, Sea of Indolence. Increase the warning time for the Omen attack in stage 2 of Sea of Indolence. Uh, change the indolence sentinel comms attack from a white mechanic to a high damage attack in stage two of sea of indolence all right let's get into the guardian raids here i know these challenge people quite a bit uh, let's go to virtus remove the stun debuff that was applied when players were hit by the tell swing attack decrease the damage dealt by several attacks jumping up out of the ice grabbing a player and breathing ice fire necrosina decrease the damage dealt Necrosina, decrease the damage dealt by several attacks. Tell attack after thumping the ground with tell, jumping out the ground, lightning projectiles. Flame Fox Yoho, reduce the duration of Flame Fox Yoho's flame ground attack, decrease Flame Fox Yoho's HP, reduce the effect of the burning soul ability, decrease the damage dealt by several attacks. Throwing Fox Fires, jump forward and claw attacks, jump upward and claw attacks. Fatalos, Decrease the duration of Tatalo's circle of spell, ooh, spawning rock attack. Change Tatalo's attack that collects sand energy and explodes from a white mechanic to a high damage attack. Decrease the damage dealt by Tatalo's earth explosion attacks. Um, Akades, is that how you say it? Modified Guardian Akades summon statue patterns are always summoned for four Guardian statues. 
decrease the damage required to apply weak point to Achates to keep Achates challenging in trial guardian raids that encounter will not have these changes but more on that in the future update okay that's interesting lava chromanium decrease the damage dealt by the lava eruption attack used by lava chromanium when becoming berserk levanos decrease the damage required to apply weak point to levanos weak point is a mechanic which requires players to break a part of the enemy or target a specific area with abilities and battle items marked with a destruction word albert hastic Reduce Albert Hastic's beneficial effect that was granted when obtaining the Heart Orb or Heat Orb. Change the white mechanic to a high damage attack. I like that. I don't like white mechanics. <laughs> Alright, then we have some general updates and bug fixes. Fix an issue that caused the battle effects display. Include buffs effects of players, members, setting to not show some debuffs affecting party members. Fix an issue that caused the top left in-game clock to show the wrong time zone due to daylight savings time. Added an update to prevent players from being booted out of the server while logging in. We will continue to monitor data feedback and reports to ensure this issue is resolved. Applied a fix to help improve matchmaking issues. We will continue to monitor data feedback and reports when sure this issue is resolved. Fix an issue preventing an object from being interactable during uh, Nineveh's Aura of Chaos report quest chain. Fix an issue where the Abyss Trader was missing from Rotham. Fix an issue where the weekly battle item bundle stated it could be claimed 10 times, correcting it to reflect the purchase limit of once a week. So that's the changes that they're rolling out. The update is coming out today. Um, if you are in Pacific time like me, it's going to be at 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock, lights out, go to sleep, wake up tomorrow and play again. Um, but honestly, my personal opinion on all this, I'm seeing, you know, through the eyes of a new player. So it's really hard for me to understand, you know, how hard most of this content probably is because maybe I haven't got to some of these things yet. But, you know, if it helps me out in any way, the devs do think it will help me out, then hey. But I know, you know, some of the long time players are probably reading this and probably have some issues with it. That's probably something um, you would have to speak to them about. I know that Asmin just dropped a video with Saint One and they definitely gave their opinions on this. So definitely go and check that out. But that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video in any way, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the comment section. Tell me what you guys want to see next. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications. And I'll catch you guys later. In the night time, it get tricky. Mess with me. We send our boys straight to whoop. Straight to the back seat. Put them work up in the night time. And it's getting tricky. I put my sweat and my tears in this bitch. So I swear to God, it's getting busy.